Hi guys, it's Ashling back chatting to you again on the Waterstones vlog. So this month around I've got two recommendations for you. One graphic novel and one collection of essays. Look, it is such a beautiful book. So it's Sabrina by Nick Dernasso. I think that's how you pronounce that. It kind of originally presents itself as a crime story. I'll just show you some of the panels so you can get an idea of what the artwork is like. So here we go, isn't that gorgeous? So it starts as a crime story, uh, a girl called Sabrina, the title character, she goes missing and nobody knows where she is. And then the story from then on sort of follows people on the periphery, like her sister, her ex-boyfriend, and um, her ex-boyfriend's friend, Calvin, who actually a lot of the story kind of revolves around. And from there on in, it sort of takes a turn um, in this sinister direction regarding the internet and where we get our information. So um, a video of Sabrina and her believed kidnapper, captor, whatever you want to call it, uh, surfaces on the internet. Uh, a very unpleasant video. I don't want to put any spoilers in here because um, I think there's a lot of spoilers that could ruin this for people. Uh, so this video appears on the internet and then uh, people start sort of tracking down uh, anyone to do with Sabrina's life. They send them those emails being like, I know that you did it or reaching out to them and it's really overwhelming. And it just sort of um, makes you think about in regard to crimes that occur today or when people go missing, like the frenzy that's created on the internet. Um, it's compared uh, numerous times like in in the story within the book to this, the Sandy Hook shooting and how people thought that that was a hoax. So people then start to think that Sabrina's disappearance is a hoax and that everyone involved is an actor. And it's just, it's really um, eerie. Like the, the way the artwork is so simplistic and kind of colorful, it really is juxtaposed with the subject matter of the story. It's, it's, it's it's so opposite that it's kind of jarring but in a good way i really really enjoyed it um i it it will leave you sort of thinking being like oh it's that kind of ending like i it's one that would be great to discuss with other people and see what they thought because um oh, i really don't want to spoil it because the ending is just kind of it's a little bit of a, a jolt it's a bit strange but it's definitely um a very deserving nominee for the man booker uh prize so i would recommend that to anybody who is interested in new fiction like not even if you're just into graphic novels i would say if this is the first graphic novel you've ever read it, it reads like um a cross between a crime novel and a, quite a you know a modern piece of literature so i would recommend that to anybody who is into graphic novels and also into you know literary fiction crime fiction Get on it. And the other book that I have to recommend to you today is Notes to Self by Emily Pine. And this is published by Tramp Press in Ireland. Uh, they usually publish fiction. Uh, they published Solar Bones by Mike McCormick. So I believe this is their first non-fiction book, which is very, very exciting. Uh, this is the kind of book that uh, once you read it, you'll want to give a copy to your friend or your sister or your mom or like even even your, you know, your boyfriend, your partner, anybody. I feel like it's a book that probably a lot of people should read. It's very, very important. It deals with kind of everything from addiction to fertility struggles to kind of growing up, relationships. There's a lot of pain in it, but what I will say is it's not a painful read, even though there is a lot of pain and there's a lot of um, struggle in it. Uh, afterwards, after reading it, you'll feel like you know the author, Emily Pine, so well. Uh, similar to uh, Sabrina, I'm gonna say, like if you have not really read many essays and you're kind of worried, you know, when people mention essays, you think it's going to be this kind of stodgy sort of academic writing. It really isn't that. Like, it's quite cool and down to earth. And like, she is speaking directly to the reader, kind of um, getting across her personality really well. And that was what I really enjoyed. It feels really personal towards the reader. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. And again, like another gorgeous cover, a gorgeous edition. I think it would make a great gift 
uh, for anybody because Christmas is coming sort of and um, yeah I think I think most people would really really enjoy it especially if you um, are trying to get into essays or if you already like essays you've probably already heard of this but if you're trying to get into essays maybe trying to read a little bit more non-fiction and branch out I think it's, it's a really good place to start it's very personable very very easy to read and you'll absolutely fly through it because it is absolutely amazing so guys those are my two recommendations for this month uh, i hope you like them i hope you pick them up and i'll be chatting to you again on another vlog very very soon okay bye